Hello, space fans, and welcome to Your Sky Tonight. My name is Tony Darnell from DeepAstronomy.Space. And tonight, we're going to be looking at the Perseid Meteor Shower, a spectacular naked eye event that you can enjoy by just going out into your backyard, looking north and looking up. Meteor showers occur when the Earth, in its annual trek around the sun, passes through debris fields of comets that have also orbited the sun. And in the case of the Perseid meteor shower, the Earth is passing through a stream of debris that was left by the comet known as Swift-Tuttle. It's a comet that circles the Earth once every 133 years, and each time it goes by, it leaves behind a trail of debris. And the meteor shower is caused by the Earth passing through that debris field. Meteor showers are characterized by two things. One is where most, what area of the sky most of the meteors appear to come from. And the other thing is how many meteors you can see per hour. And in the case of the Perseid meteor shower, they originate in the constellation called Perseus. And you can expect to see roughly 60 to 80 meteors every single hour as the Earth passes through this debris field. Now the Perseid meteor shower starts in mid-July and lasts till the end of August, but it is at its most active toward the middle of August. And this year it will be, the peak will be the 12th of August. Now to see it this year, you're going to need to go outside a little bit later than usual. The constellation Perseus doesn't really rise until about 1 or 2 a.m. And that's when it will be bright enough for you to see the meteors. Now there have been reports that this year's Perseid meteor shower will be the brightest ever recorded. And in fact, it would be so bright that you could see it during the day. Well, folks, that is simply not true. NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center astronomers have said that the Perseid meteor shower for this year will average about 60 to 80 meteors, maybe 100 meteors every single hour. In fact, if anything, this year's meteor shower will be, you'll see fewer of them because right up and high in the sky during the peak of the shower, it will be the moon. And the moon will be in a phase called a waning gibbous moon. And so it'll be very, very bright. And so we won't be able to see um, as much of meteors per hour simply because the moon is up. So if you've heard that this is going to be the brightest ever recorded, I'm sorry to say that's not true. But if you go out tonight at about 1 a.m. and look to the north, look for a sideways M or a W in the constellation, that's the constellation Cassiopeia, and just look, you'll be able to see bright streaks raining through the sky. And that will be the meteors caused by the debris left behind of a comet as the Earth passes through its debris field. Well, that's it for tonight, space fans. Thank you all for listening. And as always, keep looking up.